Hi everyone, Tracy Ellert here. I am the current state representative of Iowa House District 70 and I was asked to make a short video to introduce myself for those of you that might not know me or know what my platforms are and to give a short um, description of why I got involved in politics and running for office. So I'm an early childhood educator. I um, for 13 years have ran my own early learning program. Um, currently, I am running just a summer program because during the school year, I teach in the Cedar Rapids Community School District. I am also a continuing education instructor for Kirkwood Community College and for child care resource and referral. And I do independent contract work for other early um, education organizations where I teach at a local, state, and national level in early care and education topics. Um, I sit on multiple committees, um, local, state, national, that are all of a, um, all involve early ed, um, such as I'm the chair of the Early Childhood Workforce Advisory Committee, um, and I sit on the National uh, Teach Early Childhood Alliance Council. Um, a little bit about why I ran for office. So it was actually never part of my um, my life goals. I was doing a lot of advocacy work around early ed. That's my huge passion area. Um, pretty much anything education related, but we've really got to start with that early ed um, group because a child's brain is over 90% developed before they even hit a kindergarten classroom. And so often people think early ed and they think preschool, but it's so much more than that. Early ed actually encompasses birth to third grade and what happens before that child even enters a classroom has life lasting impacts not just for the child, but for the economy, um, because early ed really is an economic issue, especially when you dive into childcare. So I was doing a lot of advocacy work around early ed, um, even going to Washington DC to advocate for programs such as Head Start. And um, I had done a lot of work around that. And when Senator Taylor's house seat had became open, I got a call asking if I would consider running for it. And right away I said, no, I'm a preschool teacher. I love working with kids. Why, why do I need to be in the Iowa House? And the response was that they really needed someone that knew the early ed work, especially the child care issues, because they were starting to come up more and more in the Iowa legislature and becoming really important issues that no one really had any expertise in. So I met with different elected officials and they you know, told me more about the job and why they thought I'd be a good fit and early ed kept being brought up. And that pulled me in little by little. And then I thought, you know what, even if I don't win every single door that I knock and every phone call that I make when I talk about my platforms, um, which also include jobs, making sure that Iowa has good jobs for people, safe work conditions, um, and that individuals are fairly compensated, and also that we have affordable, accessible health care for all, it really was a platform for me to talk about early ed and get the word out there. Um, especially now with COVID, childcare is a huge issue and it's gonna really affect our economy if we don't get some funding into it and get some policies around it. So we did some good work this year in the um, Iowa legislature around helping childcare. Not everything got passed through um, because we had the interrupted session. So I am really looking forward to getting back to um, the Iowa House, getting reelected this year. That means I'm gonna need a lot of help. Um, both volunteer wise and fundraising. So if you would like to learn more about myself or about my campaign, I welcome any phone calls, emails. Um, if you feel comfortable meeting right now during COVID safely, I am open to meeting with anyone. So you can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter and you can um, reach me at tracy.ellert at legis iowa.gov for legislative issues. If you want to reach me for campaign, you can reach me at alert4, and it's the number four, iahouse at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.